Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. Now this will be for the 25th to the 31st of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for your support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Do one more shuffle. Oops. Might just put the light on actually. It's a little bit it's a little bit dark. Okay, Aries. Okay, so on the bottom, you've got a few different cards. <clears throat> now, it looks like you are trying to plan something for the long term. You're trying to look at your life and figuring out what it is you would like for your life. Um, at the same time, there's patience that's needed because I don't feel like things are going to happen straight away for you. At the moment, there's something that you're feeling trapped in that you're not wanting to release with the tower in reverse. Um, and this situation could have somebody giving to other people. At the same time, if you're a good person, you'll, you know, you'll get good. There might be, if you're a good person, you might get some inflow of abundance. Um, but, I mean, here you are long-term planning. Here you are feeling like you're stuck, feeling like you're trapped, feeling like you can't get out of a situation that you're trying to avoid um, having the, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? You're trying to avert a disaster. You try, you fear the change that you know you need to have because you're feeling like you're stuck. But at the same time, as I said, they are giving to other people. And you're also looking at it... Um, you need to look at it like if you're a good person, you'll get good. Keep putting that out there to the universe. Um, there's going to be some sort of situation, and it could be the situation where they're giving to others or that you're feeling trapped in, and maybe it's the one that you are long-term planning with. You're trying to figure out if it's going to be your person, and that would be someone that's like the Knight of um, Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is somebody who's very passionate and confident and charismatic, um, you need to trust your instincts. It can be a passionate relationship as well. Um, it can mean somebody who, you know, you're very hot in the bedroom, um, you know, that kind of sit, kind of person, um, somebody who's a bit of a risk taker, um, maybe they're adventurous, that kind of person. But there could be a relationship that's going to come in that might be like hot and heavy in the bed, um, in the bedroom. And, you know, you're really unsure, you're trying to plan for your future, you're, you know, feeling like you are stuck, like I said. Um, but you're trying to, with the tower in reverse, I feel like you needing you need to do some work on yourself as well. Like you, there's things you need to work on and at the same time um, trying to avert this disaster, but you're, you're needing to do the work on you. And... <clears throat> yeah now you've also got the wheel in um the wheel and the wheel is all about like we go through a period where it might go you know bad and then it will go good and then it'll go bad and then it will go good um but this is like a fresh new start so um it can mean a very positive change in your life it might mean um there's some sudden or unexpected progress i feel like it's saying though like 
depending on if you're a good person, then you're going to start getting good because you're breaking cycles. And if you do the work on you at the moment, you're needing to do the work on you, right? So until you do the work on you and you release whatever is not good for you and you do the inner work, then you're going to break the cycle. Once you do that, you're going to get this sort of inflow of abundance. So I feel like you needing you need to do this work on you. Um, because I mean, at the moment, you've been in situations where you felt like you were stuck. You felt like you're trying to plan for the long term, but you're feeling stuck. But you're trying to you're trying to hold on to things that aren't for your highest good. So you need to learn that and stop doing that because you're doing the inner work. So you're not codependent anymore. You're trying to do the work on you. And as I said, and then you're gonna you're gonna start getting something. Um, you know, you're going to start getting something good because you're doing good. Right, now let's find out what's on the table. So you've got the nine of pentacles, you've got the moon in reverse, you've got the nine of swords in reverse, and you've got the six of cups in reverse. I feel like with the nine, we'll start with the nine. The nine of um, pentacles, this is about you you know, working your butt off to kind of get your, you know, material goods, your material um, resources, your stability, your, you know, you're working on, um, you know, being by yourself, just kind of working on your finances, working on being more self-sufficient, being more independent, you know, that kind of situation. Let's find out more. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. You've been in a period where, I mean, it did make you feel really down. You've been in, you've just had really bad luck, I feel like. It's also given you a lack of, I feel like you've got no, you feel like there's no hope. You're feeling like, you know, you're going to be single forever kind of situation. Um, you've been through a lot of heartache. And you need to, you need to actually heal your heart chakra. Um... Maybe you need to do some guided meditation. Maybe you need to um, look up um, guided meditation to balance the chakras. Maybe maybe do that. Um, you know that might help. But you need to work on those. You've. Um, I feel like you don't or didn't take back your own power um, in a situation. Um, you've had this card. It's to clarify that this card was what I was saying. You're definitely planning for your long term. You're definitely waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting to get, you know, what you want for your life. You're waiting. Um, and, like, the three, unfortunately, is about you actively waiting. Like, you know, as I said, I feel like stop looking. I mean, I've said this in numerous readings for you guys. You need to stop looking. You need to work on you, right? Whether it's your finances, whether it's your own stability, whether it's your own independence. You don't need anyone else to make you happy. You're just actively waiting. But do something in the meantime while you actively wait. Work on you. And, um, you know, because I feel like you've been in situations that haven't been good for you. And I feel like even with the Emperor in reverse, I mean, you know, somebody could have been in controlling relationships or maybe you now need to take back your own power. So, you know, take back control of your own life. And I feel like just get on with life. Look after your kids if you've got kids, you know, go and work on your finances, that kind of situation. Spend time with friends, like your circle of support. Just do all those kind of things. Have some fun for now. Don't worry about your relationship. Don't worry about your love life. Just get on with enjoying your life and see what happens. It's when you're not looking. But you also have to have done some work on you. And, I mean, we talked about that a minute ago anyway. Now, the moon in reverse. I mean, you might have some fear and you need to release that. I also feel like you don't really pay attention to your intuition. And I feel like one of the lessons for you possibly is <clears throat> you hold on to things like you might get red flags or you get the intuitive feelings or you um, get some signs from the universe that, you know, that makes everything clear to you, but you choose to not see it. Or even if you do see it, 
So even if you know, oh, you know, this person looks like they're a bit controlling, or for example, you go, oh, I might just see what happens. No, no, you're getting a red flag or you're getting a sign from the universe for a reason. It's so that you learn the lesson, you break the cycle and you don't get it again. The more you hang on to it, you're not learning. So I feel like, you know, you're probably repressing a lot too, or you've got some inner confusion about, oh, why am I always having such bad luck? I'm telling you, why are you having such bad luck? You know, I feel like you are recovering from some sort of heart loss, um, heart loss, heartache and loss, or heartache, yeah, anyway, heartache is what I was trying to say, heart loss. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, and you've also got the Seven of Pentacles. As I said, you're just waiting, right? You're waiting for your plans to bear fruit. You're putting in, you know, work with people and you're, you know, you're trying to get things to, to happen for you. You're looking at everything. As I said, you're trying to plan for the future, right? But at the same time, you're going to need patience. You're, you know, listen to what I'm saying. Do the work on you because I feel like at the moment, you're trying to plan your future, but there's things that you need to work on first. And, and at the same time, you're still not doing the work on you and too busy focusing on your love life in this instance, for example, right? Stop. Stop doing that. Focus on you. Because why are you looking and you're trying to find this person? <clears throat> you haven't done the work on you. So you're not a healed version of you. And I've said this numerous times, you have to be a healed version of you to attract a healed version of someone else. Otherwise, you're just going to attract more crap, right? You don't want more crap. You want a healed version of somebody so it can work for you both because you're both going to come together as the best versions of yourself. And that would be better than you both, one of you or both of you being in bad places where you've still got stuff to work on. But it's not going to work. You're just going to butt heads all the time and argue and fight and disagree and whatever. You need to be the best healed versions of each other so you can come together and it be a great relationship that you can both work together in. And I feel like what I'm telling you is you need to do the inner work. You need to stop looking. Stop going on dates. Stop looking. Stop getting, get off Tinder. You know, get off of whatever dating sites you're on. Just focus on you, your kids your money, um, you know, your family, that's all fine. Do the inner work for yourself and just actively like wait, like just, but while you wait, don't focus on you waiting, manifest what you want and put it out there and let it go. And then just get on with your life. Spend time with your friends, spend time with your family, spend time with your kids, work, that kind of situation. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is, this is to give you a wake up call or some clarity <coughs> because it will help you and I feel like that's what I'm here for I'm here to help you so you can find your person you know I feel like it's caused you a lot of anxiety I feel like this is you know you have maybe got an overactive mind about it you know you're going through a really tough time and you're anxious and Whatever, you, you're you not going to be alone forever. You've got to do the work on you. All right, let's find out more. Tell me more about the moon. Yeah, because what you want in the end, right, is this Ten of Pentacles, right, which is like pretty much Ten of Pentacles is like everything you can wish for it all together, right? So it's like your happy family, your stability, your financial security, you know, like everything, right? Now, I mean, whatever it is for you, it doesn't have to be kids if you don't want kids, but whatever it is, right? Now, the temperance in reverse is in reverse because you need to do self-healing still, like I keep saying, right? one of the things you need to do is work on your independence and work on your finances and work on just being by yourself don't worry about anyone else sit there read a book do whatever you want to do just take some time once you do you're going to have something new come in you're going to have a fresh start you know maybe you do something creative in the meantime but you are going to get what you want but at the same time you know if you don't do it you're going to attract more of the king of cups you're going to get more you know, manipulating and crafty and possibly violent, moody, you know, all those kind of people. That's what you're going to get. 
And maybe you've been in a situation with somebody who you had heartbreak with that you're moving on from who was like that. Somebody who was very emotionally manipulative and um, crafty and, you know, that kind of situation. And I feel like there could have been secrets with this person that maybe you didn't trust your intuition with. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you're widening your knowledge. And I feel like you might also, because we're talking about your finances and, and you're working on, you know, getting some stability of your own, maybe you're going to go do something to some extra study or you're going to do something to help with you making a career to earn some money. But I feel like a lot of you are just widening your knowledge about what you need to do. Now, you've also got, funny enough, you have the nine in reverse, right? The nine of swords in reverse. Then you've also got the nine of swords in reverse. So you are releasing the worry. You know, you have deep-seated fears. As I said, that you're going to keep getting the same or you're going to be alone forever or whatever this is. Um, and also, you know, you've got a lot of inner turmoil. Now, the same card has come out in reverse and it's in reverse the same as the last one. Um, you know, you really need to start being more positive. You really need to... As I said, stop focusing on the fact that you are alone or that you are lonely or whatever. Stop. Focus on your kids. Focus on your job, making money. Focus on what you need to focus on to make things happen for yourself. Focus on healing you as a, as a person. Who are you as a person? Maybe you need to do some things for yourself. Um, but I feel like change the way you're thinking. Like refocus your thoughts. And at the moment, you're so caught up in, in the, the negative that you're not seeing what you need to do for the positive. You got the moon card again, and this time it's upright. Before the moon card was in reverse, right? But now it's all about trusting your intuition. It's about, um, you know, there's been a lot of situations where there was uncertainty, so you hung on to them. And I feel like it's also... You, you feel like because you didn't know everything, it's like, okay, I'll hang on to them. But at the same time, I feel like you knew. You were trusted. Your, if you had to trust your intuition, your intuition was saying there was something going on. And I feel like if you had to trusted that, um, you know, you might have been out of these situations quicker. You learn them quicker. As I said, this is causing you anxiety. It's causing you um, fear. You know, there were things going on that maybe you didn't know where someone was being deceptive and um also it could come down to your own insecurity as well like maybe you're pushing people away or you're holding on to people even though you know that they're not good for you you're holding on to them because you're insecure um you've also got the five of wands in reverse and I, as i said you're trying to avoid conflict with people even though you know that this person is not good for you and you know that they're hiding stuff from you and they're deceptive and whatever you're seeing the red flags I feel like even if you even if that is the case, you're trying to avoid conflict with these people because it's easier to keep it inside where you're repressing everything than say to this person, because you know it's probably going to cause a fight, it's going to cause a breakup, then you're going to be alone, and then it's going to be like, is that better than being with someone and being miserable? Yes, be alone. As I'm saying to you, you're holding on to things that for no reason. You're holding on to things when you shouldn't be. Even when you see the, the red flags. As I said, you go, you've been going through a lot of emotional, there's the nine again, about working on yourself. There's the emperor again. Take back your own power. Um, and once you do all these things, you are going to get like the ace of, what, like I said before, the ace of wands. You are going to get this fiery, passionate new love. You are a new star. You are. That's going to fulfill your wishes. But at the mo moment, you've just you, all you keep getting is all this emotional loss. You're going through where you're disappointed all the time. You're hurt all the time. You know, it's the same pattern because you haven't learned yet. Look, fucking, oh my God, Ace of Wands. Like, this card just came out. Like, it keeps on coming out. This was on the bottom of the deck before, and now it's just fallen out. There it is again, Ace of Wands. Like, I'm telling you, Ace of Swords, you are going to get some clarity. You are going to have a fresh start. You're going to, you need to... Or you, you're probably realizing you need to change your way of thinking. You need to stop looking at things and holding on to things or looking at things in a negative way because of your own anxiety, your own fear, your own, you know, concern, whatever. At the same time, you need to trust your intuition. You also need to 
um, start seeing the truth, right? So the truth is something's not working, get let it go. You know? And I feel like you are going to get what you want, like I keep saying, but you need to just, yeah, you need to just stop the things that I'm telling you, you need to stop. And maybe because you feel like there's opposition, you feel like you've got lack of direction, you keep attracting the same kind of shit. Right. You got the six. I mean, um, the six of cups. You're disappointed. You've been constantly disappointed. You need to forgive yourself for holding on to things that were not for your highest good. Um, you know, but now I feel like with the six, like, you know, focus on friendships, just focus on, I mean, there's kids in the photo, maybe you've got kids, just focus on them, you know, I feel like that's what you need to do, focus on your kids, focus on you, focusing on your financial security, focus on being independent, don't be codependent anymore, and I feel like this will all come after a tower moment, and if it, the tower moment hasn't even happened yet, or maybe it has, where you've had something that's going to, I mean, the tower moments happen, so that we can transform and become who we're meant to be. Where we're not holding on to shit that we're not meant to because the universe gets rid of it. And normally the universe will get rid of something that you know that you know you need to let go of. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying with the tower card, um, things happen. I mean, and the universe does it. If we don't get rid of things that aren't for our highest good, the universe will do that. Um, so I feel like either you're going to have that if you haven't already, Maybe this kind of my videos, maybe that's, you know, going to help with that process. It's making you realize. And I mean, even just, um, you know, it could just be that it's going to make you realize, you know, what you need to do to change. Otherwise, it might be some big, you know, something worse. You've also got the Six of Pentacles in reverse as well. So, you know, I feel like this is all about you've been in situations where they're one-sided, like it's all you putting in all the work. Um, there also been a lot where people are giving to other people. So maybe you've had a lot of people cheating and, you know, that kind of thing in your life. Um, but I feel like now just work on you. I feel like you need to look after you. I feel like that's the priority. Look, you got the three of wands again. This is the same card as this one. Right, you've had the same card three times, and I think of the other one. I can't remember if it was on the bottom. I oh, know here it is. Three times, right? The three of wands. I mean, this is something that it's to tell you that you are going to get right. Well, okay, so the other meanings of the three of wands is that it's about happiness. It's about like at the moment you're actively waiting, right? Um, it's about having foresight for what it is you want for your future, knowing what it is you want, right? And not accepting less than. It's also all about reaping rewards of effort. So whatever work you put in now, you, re you will re reap the rewards. So you do the work on you, you know, just do the right thing, be a good person, you know, spend time with friends, family, kids, blah, blah, blah. Do all those things, right? But put in, you know, manifest put in the work so manifest what it is you want make a vision board do whatever write a list of you know must have traits all these things that are going to get you what it is you want right manifest it put it out there to the universe because you are going to get some return on investment but it's about doing the hard work so oh look and even under that manifesting <laughs> just what i was just saying i didn't even look you know, manifest what it is you want, like I keep saying. I mean, this card is coming out. Um, you need to rest and rejuvenate because you're probably feeling very exhausted. And as I said, but there's a situation that you, I want to, I mean, whether it's a situation or whether it's like, I feel like it's something, it's not even just this situation. I feel like it's many situations. You've had it over and over and over and over again where you don't want to let something go. But I'm telling you, you let something go, you are going to then get a new love. But stop looking, stop, stop looking. Work on manifesting what it is you want. Because the magician card, this is all about manifesting what it is you want. I feel like we've had this same sort of message before. I couldn't remember what we did last last week. But um, I feel like it's always the same message the last couple of times. 
and it's just stop looking stop trying stop yeah look lover's card like you are gonna get it right you are and it's gonna come after the ten of swords but you have because at the moment there's a situation that you've had your heart broken in but you still don't want to let it go you feel like there's some sort of closure that's needed but at the same time you feel like you're trapped this person's a player and you're holding on to them and not wanting to let them go because what you want is this happy family ten of cups right so therefore you're not breaking the cycle because you don't want to walk away but it will end and you are going to get what you want but as i said it's going to come there's going to be a tower moment right Tower moment where the Ten of Swords, I mean, something's going to happen. And whether it's in a relationship that you're in currently, and if it is, like there's deception, there's secrets, there's things that you're not trusting your intuition about, um, but you're holding on to them because you don't want to let them go because you don't want to be by yourself. But I feel like for majority of you, if it's not a situation specific, it's about you, too many, it's about you holding on to things that are not for your highest good. Yeah. Like I feel like there's someone that's in your life or has been in your life that is not your person. These people are, or people have not been your people. Um, but I also feel like for a lot of you, it's like not even, there's not even, like it doesn't make you passionate. It doesn't. Or, or it's just about sex. Like, I feel like it's not even... And whether it's even good sex, I don't know. But I feel like you are going to have true love come in. But it's going to be a new love. And they're gonna, there's going to be heart-to-heart conversations. There's going to be romantic feelings. It's not just going to be about sex. And there's your new love. That's going to lead to a higher level of commitment, whether it's marriage or whether it's whatever. But I feel like you need to let go of all these things at the moment that aren't for your highest good. Yeah, like... As I said, you're probably needing to take the time to breathe and you're not. You're not letting something go that you need to. It's probably making you feel exhausted and burnt out, like I said. You've also got exchanging gifts in reverse. Now, I just want to see what that one says. Um, it's in reverse. Now, this is about manifesting and it's about be careful what you pray for because you might, you might just get it and then realize you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation that you've always desired but know you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous mu famous musician, you have to practice every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost, but it's okay though because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode in a codependent dynamic or holding on to a false sense of control. Exactly what I've been saying. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. The, the time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. As I said, that's what you keep having. You keep having these relationships where it's one-sided or it's just you giving, giving, giving instead of giving and taking. And you are going to get someone in your life and maybe these people have been soulmates then that you're going to learn from them, but there's also going to be someone coming in that's going to be very different. The lovers is someone who you have the same values with and the same expectations and, you know. Yeah, look. <laughs> You've even got the companion in reverse. Like there's someone that's just you believing that you're not going to get that. It's also you keep getting the wrong kind of people. 
Um, but at the same time, you're not wanting to get out there out of your comfort zone. You're not wanting to put yourself out there. You're not wanting to try something new. And then all you get is more, like they call it destruction, but it's more crap, pretty much. Like you keep getting more of the same thing. Um, so therefore you have a lack of abundance. Um, you haven't let go of your fear of meeting someone new and getting something different because you keep getting these illusions and which at the moment you keep tolerating. You keep... I just feel like you keep on putting up with them. You keep um, accepting the same because, once again, you've got to be a healed version of you to get a healed version of someone else. And I know you're impatient. I know, obviously, you want love now, 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 but it's not going to work for that. It's not. It's in divine timing. It's not going to happen when you want it to, unfortunately. And the temperance card is also saying at the moment it's not the right time because it was in reverse. Change your perception. You are going to get someone that's like-minded, compatible, healthy, like a healthy attachment style. Um, I don't feel like you're going to get back together with anyone that from your past. At the moment, there's still, you're needing to work on you. You need to do some self-care, some self-love, some work on you, like I keep saying. And once you do, you are going to have some, you have faith because love is coming. Cupid's arrow, you are going to get love. There's going to be a surprise invitation, surprise meeting, something like that. But at the same time, at the moment, you're not ascending because you're not actually learning. You're not doing the work on you. Anyway, that's what I have. I mean, it's the same, pretty much the same information as last time, I think. I mean, I don't know, same sort of message, I think, was about working on you. Um, and, yeah, I feel like healthy choices just popped out again. Like, you need to make those healthier choices. You need to work on you. Anyway, that is what I have. I hope that resonates. And if it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.